What's up, freaks? This is Steve Says, episode number 88, coming to you on a Tuesday night, switching things up, going into the PM here to connect to a few uh, different people out there. So this is episode number 88. Today, we are going to be talking about some, some serious things, about some personal development type things. And the the opening question I have for you, the opening question is, what are you doing to take your life and your family to the next level? Are you are you freaking doing anything? Are you doing anything? I want you to think about that question. What are you doing to take your life and your family to the next level? I want you to think about that for two seconds while I take a sip of my water here. Make sure you got your ammo all preloaded. I got the water there. Stay hydrated. And of course, my Herbalife Pro post-workout drink here, Herbalife and Trulene. I did just finish a little while ago a boot camp cardio session right here live. Also on Facebook. What's up, Jonathan? What's going on? What's going on? All right, so here we are. Steve says episode number 88. The question, the opening question that I, I wanted to give you was, what are you doing to take your life and take your family to the next level. And are you fucking doing anything? And let me tell you, Steve says, you know, is not always going to be what you want to hear, but it's what you fucking need to hear. That's the way it is. Some people will hate, but most can relate. And I'll tell you what, please, please don't ever mistake my enthusiasm for, for, for pushing you, pressuring you or lack of professionalism, because this is just the way it is. This is what a lot of you need to, to shake you the fuck up, to wake you the fuck up, to, to get you rolling to the next level so you stop just living life in an average mediocre way and you get st- stop being stuck and stop holding yourself back with the bullshit that you tell yourself in your head what's up huber duber rome camper all the freaks we got on instagrams they get the facebooks the myspaces the tweeters all rocking on several different monitors so you know what steve says we are bringing the fucking fire every second of every second i'm going to give you a nice introduction to let you know what it's really all about as to give you a chance to log in and get rolling. This week, on this week's episode, we're going to talk about what are your your personal beliefs about personal development, about success, and about money? And do you know what steps you need to take to get to where you want to be? And are you doing those steps or are you bullshitting? Are you being a fraud about it? Do you even know where you want to be is where it starts. So that's what we're going to be talking about episode 88, and Steve Says is a live show on how to have a badass, no excuses mindset to to overcome and destroy and adapt and overcome to the obstacles that are preventing your success in your health, your, your fitness, your family, your career, your finances, so that you can really level up in all those areas, so that you could stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own freaking terms. And we're always focusing on the mind, the body, and your business in that order. In that order. And today specifically is going to be focusing on that MBB, mind, body, business. That's always what what the primary focus is. And it's also thinking about having a role model mindset where you operate with discipline and energy and confidence and action, attacking with action and being your freak self. So let's get rolling. So today we're going to talk about we're going to talk about personal development. Personal development, self-development, whatever you want to call it, call it. And and you you see stuff all over the internet's and I'm going to try and keep getting a little closer every once in a while to kind of see the message there cuz I'm I'm blind as shit. So personal development, self-development. And and what is personal development? What is self-development? I'm going to give you the the textbook version of what it is, but then we're going to talk about the real way of discussing personal development and the shit that you might need to fucking hear tonight. So personal development is in several different areas, probably the main five or six areas that you need to work on your personal development and you should be regularly making habits to work on your self-development is mentally, physically, emotionally, socially, spiritually, and I like to add in there financially because that's an important one. That is, it is part of your personal development to focus financially. That is a a level of of personal development. So uh, the the textbook version of personal development, let me pull up on the second screen here. The, the, The textbook definition of personal development is consists of activities. And listen to this. This is a a pretty decent 
definition of personal development. Of course, we're going to go to the to the freak side of things and talk about it from a different perspective as usual because you need to hear more than just the textbook version of shit. You need to hear a real life implementable world version of stuff. But but just think about this. And I think if you are consciously, intentionally, daily, habitually working on your personal development in those areas, mentally, physically, emotionally, socially, spiritually, and financially, as I describe what personal development is. Are you doing this in all those areas? So personal development consists of activities that develops a person's capabilities and potential. And I'm going to repeat these, these lines because think about this, like how serious this shit is. Consists of activities that develop a person's capabilities and potential. That activities that build human capital. Activities that facilitate employability. Like your ability to be employed, to be hired, to make some, some fucking money. It, personal development consists of activities to enhance your quality of life. Personal development consists of activities and and the realization of your dreams, your goals, your aspirations. Think about that. I'm going to read that all back to you again, all straight through. And think about how, how really deep this shit is. And if you're not working on your own personal development, again, intentionally, every fucking day, throughout the day, several days, like clockwork, like fucking habits, you're fucking up. Listen to it again. I'm going to read it straight through again for you. Personal development consists of activities that develop a person's capabilities and potential, build human capital, facilitate employability, and enhance the quality of life and the realization of dreams and aspirations. I shouldn't need to say any more right now. I shouldn't have to say any fucking more. You should be running out right now, signing up for every type of personal development course you can, going to, going to the Barnes and Noble and, and, and putting your little face diaper on so you can go in there and buy every fucking book in the department on personal development. You should be going and hiring a, 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 a personal one-on-one peak performance accountability coach like we do for, for clients out there on a one-on-one basis. Obviously, we do the group fitness thing. We also have the project, which is an in-person group men's personal development program, but also one-on-one peak performance accountability coaching to focus on your mind, your body, and your business. But after just hearing that definition, like I almost want to just keep reading it over and over again to, to let it fucking sink in and drill into your head. So what, why, why do you need to do that stuff? I shouldn't have to explain why, but we're going to break this down and we're going to get into it on, on, onto a deeper level. So, you know, what are, the, what are the real benefits of working on your personal development other than everything I just fucking mentioned in, in that d- actual definition of it? But think about it. It, it. Personal development really starts with and all emotional intelligence, emotional discipline, everything always starts. Leadership, everything starts with your own self-awareness, your own self-awareness. But then not just self-awareness, you need to have a self-trajectory, a sense of direction. Because once, once you wait or have that self-awareness, then you could focus on the trajectory, where you're going, what your vision is, what your mission is, what your goals are. And then personal development, also the, you're going to have improved focus and effectiveness because you have that awareness, you have that trajectory, and now improved focus and effectiveness going in that direction of those goals and aspirations you have, full of fucking fire and motivation, because you are developing those habits that automatically give you that energy and hunger and a fucking obsessiveness to drive forward towards it, and it all is because of the, the habits and the personal development that you're having. It's going to make you more resilient, more resilient, so when you get knocked off course, that you could get back on track like nothing, like it, you, without blinking a fucking eye. Not beating yourself up over shit. Think about that. And personal development is going to give you more fulfilling relationships with your, your husband, your wife, your partner, your fucking goat, whatever it is you have, your kids, obviously. It's going to help you achieve personal, both on the personal side and professional side, goals. Your personal and professional goals. If you have habits, clear, strict habits of personal development, we're going to go into all that, what it is. But I want to really deeply break down what it is, why you should do it, what are the benefits of working on your fucking self. Because it's lacking. I'm telling you, I see it out there. It it's fucking makes you sick to your stomach. It's lacking in this country, in the world. It's lacking the last nine months. It's lacking for the last nine years, the line, not last nine fucking decades. But uh, specifically these last you know, nine months of all the bullshit going on. But personal development also will help you improve your weaknesses, better yourself and your weakness, but but also 
build upon and exploit and use to your advantage your strengths and your talents and your, your genetics and your DNA, what's built into you, learning how to use that to your advantage, how to have more fulfillment and satisfaction in just living your life, how to communicate better, how to better interpersonal relationships, better organization and structure and fucking control of your own life and your own and day to day and your own fucking moment, this very moment, having control of this moment with the ability to problem solve and just operate with fucking confidence in all you do because you know you've done the due diligence and you've put in the work and you have the habits that will keep you on track no matter what and you can adapt and overcome to anything and and you're approaching it always with integrity and fucking hard work, a positive attitude, being a leader and a freaking role model. That's why you need to work on personal development. Now, if if you need to, I hope you're going to go back and re-listen to that stuff over and over again that we just went over. Because I'll tell you what, 99.9999% of what I just said is lacking in 99.9999% of the people out there. I talk to hundreds of people a week, sometimes thousands, depends on if it's in a a big group or not. Pamela Hawkins, what's up, freak? Mario Estrada, getting ready for the project. So let me tell you, this stuff, this is stuff that's lacking in the majority of the fucking country and the majority of the world. And if you start telling yourself, uh, that, that, that stuff is stupid. That's a waste of my time. I don't have time for that stuff. Like, think about it. All right, what is, what is personal development? A couple of quick ideas. Well, you see behind me a shitload of books. First of all, fucking reading. Reading. Think about it. You read a book. You're getting information from someone far smarter than all of us combined. They're watching this at the same time. Smarter than all of us combined. Sometimes 10, 20, 30, 60, 90 years of knowledge and expertise put down into 300 fucking pages that you can get through in a few hours. It's like time travel. It's getting all that knowledge and wisdom, soaking it in. And we're going to get into the, what, what to do with that knowledge in a second. But think about that reading. And then writing. Every day just writing. Every day creating shit. Writing about what, your, your goals and journaling. Having a specific set of questions that you have to ask yourself and you are going to be responsible for and you're going to hold yourself up to the fucking mirror of those questions every day, every single day, every morning and every night. I do it every morning and every night, seven days a week. Reading, writing, journaling, meditating, working on gratitude, working on making connections with other humans. We talked about that last week. Going to events, seminars, hiring coaches, mentors, guides, but also sitting and reflecting, working on reflecting. And I have, I have two different types of journals. One is actually organized with specific questions that I, that I follow and specific sections I fill out that I've kind of created myself. And the other one is a blank book. Sometimes I will just sit there and do just blank journaling, blank book, and just start writing. You're not allowed to stop moving the pen. You have to write for a certain amount of minutes. Then there's also, when's the last time? Let me ask you this. When's the last time you sat there in a fucking chair, blocked out everything around you, not, and didn't even meditate, just fucking thought, just was thinking, thinking. Like when's the last time you just sat there fucking were thinking? Think about how fucking simple it is. And by the way, everything I mentioned, for the most part, is free, except for the going to seminars and workshops and obviously hiring a coach and things like that. You do need to invest in yourself. And if you're investing in other things and not yourself, you're making a fucking mistake. Because if you're thinking, oh, all this stuff is stupid. I don't have time for this shit. I'm too busy. I got to take the kids and there's soccer practice. I got to cook dinner. I got to clean the house. I got to do all this shit. I'm just too busy. Or it's too expensive. I'm too poor. I don't have time to read a book. I don't have time to read a book. And I want to tell you something. I'm going to call out some members in our fitness in our fitness business, in our private group, we had a, a personal development challenge this month of reading 10 pages in a book. 10 pages in a book per day. Of specific, a choice of, I think it was five personal development books. Some of my top that I have all right here that I've read literally some of them over 10 times. You just have to read 10 pages a day and put a note each day for 21 days of what you learn in those books. And let me tell you, it was not very successful because this, this is why I wanted to talk about personal development today because this, made, this kind of made me sick to my stomach. Kind of pissed me off a little bit, tell you the fucking truth. Like people think they're too busy to read a fucking book. 
but you'll watch a, a full season of a, a, a fucking the Karate Kid on Netflix in a night, in a weekend, but you're too busy to read a book. Or it's too expensive to go to a seminar. You can't travel. There's restrictions and you don't want to do this and that bullshit. I've traveled across the country like nine or 10 times since, since the March of last year. I'm trying to keep up with some of these messages. Yes, own up and, and respect yourself. Jake Blanchard, what's up? Freak. Awesome podcast Jake has running about personal development. You want to see hear more about personal development? Jake Blanchard's podcast. He's over there on Instagram. So if you're telling yourself you don't have time, it's a waste of your time. Oh, it's just not for you. I'm not the type to meditate or journal. That sounds lame. That sounds gay. And it sounds all this stuff. Let me tell you, I do this stuff every fucking day. And it's what keeps me focused. This is what makes me not have a bad fucking day ever. No matter what happens, no matter how sideways shit goes. No matter how many things I fuck up or fail or whatever goes on. Keeps me right in the fucking middle. Focused. Laser beam focused. Without getting derailed too far for too long. Is focusing on this type of stuff. But doing, doing the, putting the work in. Doing, doing the due diligence to, to develop yourself. Listen, if you are, are investing in anything, you're sitting there watering your fucking lawn, painting your house, staring at the people watering your lawn, watching the people paint your fucking house, but you don't have time to read a fucking book or work out or meditate just not for you, but standing and watching some fucking guy paint your house is for you. You got the time and the money and the energy and the patience for that, you dumb motherfucker. Like, holy shit. This is what you need to hear. I'm telling you, I will come. This is my job. You have people around you that are not willing to tell you the fucking truth and not willing to tell you the shit you need to hear. People just tell you what you want to hear. And that includes your friends, your family, your coworkers, your employees. They're just telling you what you want to hear. Yeah, 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 whatever. They're not going to help lift you up. So I'll do it. I'll be the one. I'll be the bad guy that has to tell you the way it is to light that fucking fire under your ass. That this shit's not for you. It's stupid. Sit and think. I don't have time to sit and think. I have too much to do. I'm so busy. But I I can't afford that stuff. The reason why you don't have the time and you can't afford it and you're not where you are want to be and you're unfulfilled in fucking life and you're miserable and you're living an ordinary, mediocre, unhappy, unfulfilled fucking life is because you don't do this stuff. You don't have the time to do this stuff because you don't do this stuff. If that makes fucking sense. But then you'll bitch and complain. And you have time to bitch and complain. And argue with fucking people on the internet about, about presidents and riots and all this other stupid fucking shit. And masks and whatever else. Face diapers. But you don't have the time. And it's not for you. To sit and journal. Because you know what? You know what I think most people are afraid? Or most people don't do personal development is because they're afraid. Because I told you in the beginning, it all starts with self-awareness. Most people don't want to know the truth about themselves. They want to live in fucking fantasy world. They want to complain about everything else. Blame everyone else. It's everyone else's fault. You're not, you're not making the money you want to be making. You're, you're, you're struggling. It's someone else's fault. You, you never got a chance. You were, you were not given the opportunities and everyone else. It's a fucking you against the world. Fucking Tupac, me against the world. Fucking crying like a motherfucking baby. It's fucking bullshit. You're full of shit. I'll be the one to tell you that on a fucking camera and tell you that to your face. You're full of fucking shit. That you're too busy for this stuff. No, no, no. You don't want to know the truth. Like Jack Nicholson, you can't handle the truth. That's what you need to be fucking told. Because you'll see where you've been lazy, where you've been bullshitting, where you've been lying and fucking cheating and stealing from yourself and from your own development and from your family. Like you're doing a disservice to your family by not investing in yourself, not working on yourself constantly. And if you think writing down your goals and reflecting on where you fucked up, like t- tonight, I'll go and sit down. Where did I fuck up today? What lessons did I learn today? What can I prove on tomorrow from today so it doesn't happen again? So I can constantly be getting better and better and better going towards mastery. You know what true mastery is? Realizing you'll never be at true mastery. So you're always going for it to get better and better. Someone asks, when is it going to be enough? When could you possibly learn enough? When can you make enough money? Fucking never. That's when. Fucking never. What a stupid question. When's it going to be enough? It's never enough. It's never a freak enough. Personal development needs to be consistent and persistent. Think about that. Write that shit down. Consistent and persistent. Fucking obsessed. Obsessed. 
It needs to be part will and part skill. Build those skills. Build those habits. It needs to be full of discipline and energy. Bring in energy in every situation you enter. If you walk in the fucking house, you walk in the room, and you're not elevating the energy of your energy of your own house, you're a fucking turd. That's what you are. Your kids, your family, here's your car pulling up in the driveway. Just the sound that it might be your car should elevate the energy and elevate the positivity of the fucking family of the house. And if it's not, you're fucked up. And you're bullshitting and you're doing a disservice to your family and you're doing a disservice to this freaking universe. Because you're not working on yourself. You're not working on your personal development. This is what you need to, you need to be so stubborn in your development. That's what I, that's what I, I think it is in, in, in certain people. It's a, a stubbornness in your DNA to use all those failures and fucked up situations and fucked up childhoods as an excuse to, to, to be used as a superpower to be awesome. I use that, my, my fucked up childhood. I use that as an excuse to be a, a super dad, a superpower to be a, a, an awesome dad to my kids. A, a dad that wants to be emulated by their kids. And whenever they hear a car that even sounds like my pickup truck coming down the street, it elevates the mood and elevates the fucking energy of the room. Being so obsessed to break the cycle of bullshit in your family that your parents fucking probably brainwashed you. And it's not your fault. It's the environment they exposed you in where they drilled in your head with the school and whatever it is, school and politics and religion, all that stuff that's just stuck in your head and your thoughts about money and your self-limiting beliefs about freaking money. Be so obsessed to break the cycle of the, of the broke ass and small mindedness and lack of positive role models that you had. Be so fucking stubborn and obsessed to break that cycle. Be consistent in your daily habits and your rituals, no matter what is going on in the world. Or no matter what's going on in your day. No matter what the fuck is getting thrown at you. Always control your schedule. And, and don't be held hostage by society or people's problems or little fires that everyone makes you think is the end of the world. It's all not your problem. Be persistent in holding the fucking line because you have faith and belief in your ability to blow the fuck up, to figure it out, to make shit happen. You need to trust the process that, that you are putting in the hard work, the hard fucking persistent work, persistent and consistent work with positivity that you are destined for domination and trusting the process that what you're doing, the pieces you're putting into place, the habits you're creating can only lead in one direction, and that's success and fulfillment. And it might also happen to lead to a shitload of fucking money, if that's what you're looking for. You need to have such a strong fucking will inside of you that has already been to the rock bottom, so you're not even afraid of rock bottom. You're fucking comfortable at rock bottom. You'll thrive at rock bottom. You'll make money at fucking rock bottom. Where it can't even affect you when shit goes sideways. Because life is just fucking awesome. Even on the worst day, your life is fucking awesome. That's where you need to get to, the mindset you need to get to when you're developing yourself and building these habits and doing the shit that you claim you don't have money or time or they're stupid or you're too busy. That's why you don't have time for this because that's why you're too, you're too busy. Don't have time for this because you don't do it. If that makes fucking sense, wrap your fucking mind around that one. Build yourself a, a fortified citadel in your freaking brain. That's what you need to do. Discipline plus energy is going to be the foundation of it all. That's my two fucking legs that that lead me to have the confidence to attack life and be my own freak self and live my life on my own fucking terms no matter what. Having given personal development, self-development is going to lead you to true freedom. True freedom to have self-expression. And and, and I always say it, wave your freak banner. Wave my freak banner. That's what it is. And fuck it if you, if people don't like you. If people don't like me, they, oh, you're just, you just talk too much. You curse too much, whatever. Fuck it. Then I'm, re- I'm repelling you. That's perfect. You're going to stay out of my world. You're not meant for me. You're not meant to be in my circle. And you're going to attract your people, your tribe, your savages, your fucking freaks. And people talk, people tell me about my, my cursing and this and that. Let me tell you something. I just watched, we watched the movie Ted 2 last night. And Ted 2 has, all kinds of these famous, high-level, successful actors in it, and, and they, they curse fucking 10 times more than me and say some weird, sick, twisted shit. All kinds of sick, weird, twisted shit goes on in that. And if you look at a lot of hit movies, it's the same thing. So obviously, I'm not that fucked up. People try to tell me I'm fu- fucked, so fucked up, so whacked, and, and talk too much and curse too much and off-the-wall 
shit. Look at some of those movies in Hollywood with blockbuster movies making millions of dollars with actors and, and, and famous actors that are making shitloads of money that are put into those movies. And some of the storylines and shit that goes on in that movie, it's fucking hilarious. It's funny, but it's fucking sick and twisted. So I know that it's not that far off. That's why I say some people will hate, but most can relate. The people who hate are the ones that are afraid of to have that self-awareness to find out the fucking truth about themselves. That's what it is. And those are the frauds. Those are the frauds. There's even frauds who preach, who preach the personal development. Those who talk about it, they're teaching and preaching, but never fucking implementing. Never fucking living it. The teachers, the preachers, they'll never touch it though. They'll talk about it, sounds good, makes good for a a cool Instagram fucking post to get some likes, get people to talk about them. Do do a fraud audit on yourself. You probably won't like what you see. Do a fraud audit, and I do it on myself. You know, you can't tell people all these hacks and habits and never fucking do it yourself. People can smell a fraud. People can smell a bullshitter from a fucking mile away. Like, that's why this year, my year, my, my words for this year are all about connecting creating, having gratitude, because those are things that I would talk about a lot and I realized I wasn't doing enough of. I did a fraud audit myself. I have right behind me calendars where I mark off every day. Did I connect? Did I create? Did I show gratitude? Don't just be a fucking consumer. Don't just be a curator of information and a consumer of fucking information. Be a fucking creator. And not just a creator, because just a creator is not good enough. Be a fucking doer. Then implement that shit. You can consume, fine. You can curate, fine. But you need to create and fucking do. That's what personal development really is. Not just talking about it. Like, are you actually living the things that you're talking about? The things you're preaching and teaching? Are you fucking living it? Try and read while we're doing this. Sometimes we're afraid to move forward, but after you move forward, you may ask yourself, what the fuck was I afraid of? Exactly, exactly. You need to know the truth about it. You need to know the bullshit about yourself. You need to know your weaknesses. So you, you can either improve on them, work on them, get someone to help you with them, or hire someone to help you with your fucking weaknesses. Delegate your weaknesses. Delegate your fucking shortcomings or create habits to fucking overcome them. Let me tell you, environmental and social and, and DNA fucking habits that you have that are just built into you from the environment you grew up in, you know you can overpower those. You can overpower those with control habits that you control can overpower. So you can't blame mommy and daddy. You can't blame your fucking where you grew up. You, you already give you the opportunity. Fuck that. You can overpower that. And it's shown in science. You can go into the fucking studies, into the brain and all this other stuff. You can overpower all those social and environmental habits that are built into your heredity and your DNA. You can overpower that with controlled habits that you set, that you have control of. You can't control your DNA, where you grew up, all this other stuff, your experiences you had, the people you're around when you were a kid. But you can control your habits now that literally can overpower all that shit. That's why you see all the time success stories of people who had fucked up lives that were homeless and broke. And now they're millionaires, fucking billionaires. How? Because their controlled habits overpower that bullshit. They didn't use that shit as an excuse. They worked on themselves. They worked on their self-development, their personal development. Because listen, you, th- th- I was just saying, don't be just a curator and a consumer because knowledge and experience and thoughts and failures and lessons that you learn, they're all fucking useless if you don't implement them. If you don't put them into action in the real fucking world and move forward with them, after you have those, those, those self-awarenesses and those aha moments and those breakthroughs about how fucked up you are and how weak you are and how pathetic you are, if you don't use those lessons learned and, and implement them and change your trajectory, they're fucking useless. All these books here, fucking useless. Useless. You can read them all. Even if you memorize. If I memorize every one of these books word for word, but never implement it and put it into action in the real fucking world, it's useless. That's just knowledge and experience and wisdom and growth. And lessons learned from failure that are just held prisoner in your fucking mind. Especially if you don't teach it. If you don't pay it forward. Teach it to other people. Be a role model. Be a a mentor to someone. You can't tell someone to do shit if you're not doing it yourself. Don't be a fucking fraud. It's disgusting. Preaching and teaching but not believing. Don't talk about stuff and and post about shit if you are not fucking living it yourself. If you don't truly believe it, 100% have faith and belief in what you're talking about. And and faith is one of the F-bombs of the project. Faith. And we're not necessarily talking about religious faith. We're talking about faith in yourself. Belief in your abilities to level up, to hit your ultimate goals in your family, in your fitness, in your finances. That's the faith we talk about in the project, which that is a spiritual, still a spiritual type of faith. 
I said spiritually, socially, spiritually, uh, how you need to work on your personal development. Faith is a huge one. We have created family core values here in our freak family. Do you have core values? You have core values in your business. You don't, you probably don't even know them. You probably don't live by them, but you have core values in your business, in your company. You probably don't even know them for your own company. That's a whole nother story. But do you have core values for your fucking family? A code, a, a code that your family's gonna live by? We have our freak code. That's our core values for the family. And, you, and it goes back to that belief. Belief. Uh, the, the faith in, in the project. So I'm one of the F-bombs. Personal development. You, you need to go into it 100%. All in. Faith. Faithfully to it. And believe in what you're doing. That it's leading you in the right direction. True. Real. 100%. Without a fucking doubt. Pure certainty. Levels of belief is what you need. Now that is a superpower. That's a fucking superpower. To have that type of belief. And let me tell you, it's fucking free. It can overpower all the bullshit from your past, from your history, from from your even your fucking DNA even. It's free and it's available to all fucking humans. But you make too many excuses not to use it, not to dip into it, not to tap into it. That's what you do. It outpowers faith and belief in what you're doing. Belief as you're working on yourself and investing in your personal development. That outpowers all book smarts, all logic, all reason. It outpowers all enemies and all your fucking haters. You can't touch it. You can't see it. You can't smell it. You can't taste it. But you can fucking feel belief. It's an intangible. It's an untouchable. But it's available to every fucking human in your own fucking head. And guess what? It's free. It's free. The problem is, most people, especially right now, what you've seen during this time, most people have no fucking faith. They have no real belief in themselves or where they're capable of going. They've just settled for a miserable, unfulfilled, boring, mediocre fucking life. And it's a fucking tragedy and it's fucking disgusting. It's a disservice to the fucking universe. Belief in yourself. Now don't get me wrong. Belief is also useless. Just like these books. Belief is fucking useless if you don't match it and, and, and have an all-out attack in the direction of that belief. Because a wish is bullshit. Hope is bullshit. A wish or a hope is not belief. Hoping that you do this. Oh, I wish that. I wish I was in shape. I hope I make some money. I hope I get this job. That's not fucking belief. That's fucking bullshit. That's bullshit. You need to have no fear, doubt, or uncertainty. True fucking belief to the point of obsession in the direction that you're going and Guess what? You're guaranteed fucking tea to get there. But it requires 100% belief in your own personal development, your own self-development. Then it becomes automatic. It becomes a foregone conclusion. And it becomes even pretty easy. Just will happen automatically on its own. Yes, it takes hard work and, and, and maximum effort and a positive attitude, but that stuff becomes automatic. Hard work becomes automatic. Maximum effort is automatic. Positive attitude becomes automatic. We have 100% belief in the trajectory of where you want to go, where you need to be. And you have the, the belief in, in that, that your personal development, the shit you're doing is going to get you there. But when you say, oh, that's stupid. I don't have time to read. You're done already. You're fucking done. You're going to be useless. You're going to be stuck where you are, fucking broke and pissed off and unhappy and just bitching and complaining about everything else in the world. Every day you should be thinking, this is the greatest fucking day of my life. That's fucking self-development, where every day just gets better than next. You can't wait to go to sleep to wake up the next day. It's fucking Christmas. That's the way you need to be thinking. Needs to be such a pure power in, in, in personal development. And you need to put these, do these things religiously like every fucking day. Habits, 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 habits. Don't just talk about them. Don't just preach them and teach them. Fucking do them. Believe them. Have belief in them. Because I'm sick of hearing the bitching, the fucking complaining, the whining and moaning. And people that are so unhappy and and, and not happy where they want to be. You know why? Because they don't fucking believe that they could do it. They're afraid to go deep inside and reflect and sit there and sometimes just think. During this time, they've had the chance to be alone for a little bit by themselves. People aren't, aren't, aren't having breakdowns because they're not able to be social anymore. People are having breakdowns because this is the first time in these last few months, first time in people's lives where they were forced to just get a glimpse of the real, them, their real selves 
And you know what? They didn't fucking like what they saw. They were disgusted. So they just projected outwards to negativity, to bullshit, to riots, to, to presidents, to all this other bullshit in the news, all this other garbage. Self-awareness is the start of personal development. Accept how fucked up you are. Accept that you're in a mediocre place, that you're, you're stuck because of your own self-limiting beliefs and realize that you can create Habits that can outpower all that bullshit. Have belief in your own ability to develop yourself. Investing in yourself is the only fucking thing you should be investing in for a long time. Not upgrading your house or your car in your fucking self. What else is more important than investing yourself in your own personal development? So put in the questions, the comments down below. What are you struggling with with your own personal development? Where do you need help? What do you not believe in? Are you not reading? Are you not meditating? Are you not journaling? Are you not fucking thinking? Are you not reflecting? Are you afraid of being self-aware because you're afraid what you're going to find? Put them in the comments or even send me a private message if you don't want to put it on a public comment. Let me know. Let's talk about it. And if you need help with any of this stuff, as you know, we have a a program for men. We actually have one starting a week from today. The project, which the the February class is sold out. There's about two or three spots left for April and about 65% sold out already in June, which is four and a half months away. It's already almost sold out. That's a 75-hour personal development program for men to become even better fathers, husbands, entrepreneurs, and leaders. It is a fully immersive program held here in person in Southern California, four-day program. And also, you become part of an ongoing, lifelong brotherhood of men to have a support system of men to support you and help you to constantly work on your personal development and hold you accountable to it for literally the rest of your life. So if, if, the, if that sounds like something for you, send me a message. Let's talk about it. We'll jump on the phone. We'll do a quick interview call. See if you're a good fit for the program. See if you're qualified for the program. And we'll take things from there. If you're not a man or you don't want to wait that long or you want a little more individualized attention, send me a message. We could talk about doing some one-on-one high-level private coaching for you in your mind, in your body, in your business, in your habits, in your discipline, your energy, your confidence, your action, your ability to take action so that you can be your freak fucking self. I will talk to you later. In case no one told you today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.